Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 81. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the next event in the uh, professional lineup. Uh, this is the Australian, sorry, the Aussie Touring Car Showdown. Uh, this is going to be quite a fun one. I quite like um, Australian V8s. I think they're quite nice, interesting cars. Um, we're obviously now, for this entire thing, we're going to be going for like slower cars to faster cars. So we actually got quite a variety of like different performance for the next 60 episodes, which is quite nice. Um... It's definitely much nicer for me because when you compare like we started this puma 150 horsepower runoff i think was like episode 35 40. in fact it could have been before that um and we've done all of these and it's been quite a slow progression all the way up until the faster cars so it's gonna be nice to be able to just go between like slow fast slow fast so we're taking the Commodore VA, VE number two, it's orange. Starting off with Sunset Peninsula, New York Circuit, Maple Valley, Sebring, Le Mans Bugatti Circuit, and then Silverstone. All right, here we go. <coughs> the V8, the V8 supercars. They are a breed of their own. They're actually quite cool. Are these all Holdens as well? Is that the only V8 they got with the Holden? Because I thought Ford had uh, some V8 supercars as well. Oh, it's so good being in a faster car. <gasps> Shit. Oh, we got damage to our steering. That's not ideal. Okay. Slightly pull into the side, nothing dramatic. Oh. So apparently the AI is a little bit too scared. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat. Okay, not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Got away with that one big time. <laughs> that AI car that was behind us the blue one, which is now in first place. That got very close. A little bit too uncomfortable for my liking. Yeah, so that Holden has the Ford logo on it, even though it is the same. Oh no, it's a different car. Never mind, so there are Fords in this. Yeah, the wing's different, so yeah, that's definitely a different car. Ah! No. Absolutely binned it there. I really wish Gran Turismo would sort of follow suit with Forza because Forza has a lot of like official racing championships so it has like British touring car cars obviously it doesn't have all the British touring car tracks but 
it has some of the cars. Um, it would be nice to see a larger variety of tracks in Motorsport, the next Motorsport as well, because to be perfectly honest, they have been lacking a little bit in the amount of tracks that they've got. There hasn't been enough. <coughs> um, what's it? Yeah, Gran Turismo doesn't really have any touring car stuff. It, it is a bit of a shame how Gran Turismo 7 was. I'm just hoping that they sort of give up on it at some point and start working on Gran Turismo 8 and release a Gran Turismo 8 for this generation. Because <clears throat> GT7 was a disappointment and I know it was supposed to be the 25th anniversary game. I don't think it needed it. I don't think a series needs a 25th anniversary version or whatever. I think they could have gotten away with just making GT7 a lot better, giving it an extra year. And adding, like, extra content to GT Sport. I don't know. But there's a lot of potential for another good Gran Turismo game out of it. But the only way we'll get a good Gran Turismo game is if Gran Turismo actually make it. Who knows? Not bad. We've got four more laps left to go after this one. Bloody hell, these races are much longer. Not bad. No, 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 no. Oh. I was getting like PTSD from that first lap where we completely shattered into that wall.
looking good. Three more laps. Ah. Ooh, just made it. Let's have a look and see what the interior is like of this thing. Oh, non functional. Woohoo. There does seem to be a common occurrence with uh, a lot of the cars in this game that the interior exists, it just wasn't made into a functioning interior. Um, but I believe that every car had an interior in this game, so. <clears throat> I think in Motorsport 2 they actually improved that and made it so that all the interiors were functioning. Crap. I think a lot of these uh, V8 supercar races are probably going to be around. I think they're around uh, American tracks. Because I know a lot of Australian tracks are very much inspired by American tracks. Australian motorsport and American motorsport is kind of similar in a way. Like, European and Japanese motorsports are very much similar. Very flowing tracks, fast, at lots of aero. V8 supercars and, like, Australian motorsports seems to be, like, slap bang in the middle between American motorsports and European. Slap bang in the middle. Because a lot of the cars have a lot of power. A lot of power. but not a lot of aero. Eeh. Kind of surprised they leave the back doors on these things. Like, I would have expected them to replace them with, like, a body panel that just, you know, not actually leave the entire door on. Right, one more lap. Final lap. Little bit wide there. Very wide there. Sheesh. Kebab. Alright, 12 minutes for that first race. Bloody hell. Could get two ad breaks in it. <laughs> Result. Saving Ghost. I'll take that. Thank you very much. 18,000 XP for that. Oh, we got three levels in one go. Nice. 
We've got 10% discount on driveline upgrades. We've got 10% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades. And a 10% discount on valves. All right, here we go. New York circuit. I've got five more of these races to do. I can't wait to finish them and chill. We've got 12 laps around this track as well. I'm kind of hoping that these laps don't take too long. Hi! Get off my ass! Get off my front! <laughs> oh, come on! Got smoke coming out of my engine now. Everything's gonna be alright. Bubble butt, bubble 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 butt, bubble butt. <laughs> This thing's doing about a lap a minute, so we're looking at about 12 minutes per race here. It's definitely a um, difference in time compared to the last one. There isn't a chance in hell I was going to be able to do all of this in one episode. It'd be like an hour and 20 minutes. Hyundai Genesis Coupe. It's been a while since I've seen the JVC logo. Fucking hell. There's a lot of shit here, actually, that I haven't seen in years. One of them being Toys R Us. God. I miss Toys R Us. I mean, I was literally the last generation that ever knew Toys R Us and experienced Toys R Us. It's kind of sad. I think I was like 15. Something like that when it shut down. So yeah, pretty much the last generation that for their entire generation. <laughs> It's a shame. It's sad. So sad. McDonald's, McDonald's, can take a fried chicken and a pizza, huh? So I know Forza Motorsport 5 is going to be a lot easier when it comes to, like, event lengths. Because even though, well, the events themselves and the championships are much longer. You end up with, like, gosh, I don't even know. Quite a few more um, events, though. I think you end up with like 15 to 17 races, approximately, per championship. You only have to do the first six, though, 
to be classed as completed the championship, which is a bit strange. And then you have bonus races, so actually to complete the championship, the game is quite short, but then you've got all the extra tracks on it as well. Somehow I'm going to have to work out a way to mix up cars for each of the categories because they're quite generalized categories and I don't want to end up having um, like, what's it called, 15 races in the same vehicle. Even though the races are shorter, they're only about 5 minutes each. Even the higher up ones, in the faster cars, they're still about three min uh, 5 minutes each. Five, six, seven minutes. Nothing ridiculous. And I think that trend continues for the rest of the Forza games. You don't really see any long races except for endurance events. Those still exist. Alright, halfway through this race. Let's go. Ooh, slam on the brakes. Uh, get round. Nice. Alright, not bad. You can see actually the um, consistency is pretty high at the moment. I mean, we're looking at our last lap was a minute point five. Our best lap was a minute point four. And our split time for this lap is um, 0 0.02 faster. Which means we are pretty consistent in how quick we are. There you go, a minute point six. Consistency's through the roof. Ow! What the ow? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Yeah, the rear tires are completely overheated there. Got a lot of damage as well. Let's see if we can do this. It's terrible. What the hell even happened? I went to reverse thinking that the car just wasn't pulling away. Stupid car. <laughs>
not bad. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. Alright, two more laps to go. I need to get back into the flow of, like, actually doing videos again. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. 80 hours. Nice. And didn't we already hit? No, we didn't. Did we? No, I don't think we hit 80. I don't mind. My mind thinks we have. Anyways. Result. No, it was 70. That it had hit, and I was like, made a big deal of it. There we go. 14 grand. I'll take that. We got a 10% discount on displacement upgrades. Ooh. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave it at like three videos recorded today. Really can't be asked. Doing a fourth. Basically, I know my minimum amount of videos I have to do a day uh, when it comes to doing like the falls of shit is three. Because there's seven days a week. I'm recording falls of three days a week. And three lots of three is nine. That means I get every week at least two videos as a buffer. If I do four, that means I've got five videos as a buffer. And if I can get five done in a day, that means I basically get, like, two, two and a bit weeks worth of content in a week. Mm. So. I need to make sure I'm doing at least three videos. Starting next week. Every stream. If I can get three done, result. If I can get four done, even better. Oh shit. A little bit of contact in the ass. Surprised I didn't get spun out then, to be honest. Alright, result. Looking good. Oh, the way that that was pulling through that corner.
Oh, very nice corner there. Through like 120 miles an hour around that corner. That's fucking crazy. Right, five more laps to go. That lap was three seconds slower than our best, so. Bad. Ooh, keep it going. Nice. Come on.
We've got three more laps left to go. Car behind is 18 seconds behind. Oh shit. Not bad. We're doing okay. Ish. 22 second lead, which is good. Oh, that didn't go too well. Massive collision there. There we go. That is that race done. I'm gonna get this shit edited. And sleep. We got 80 hours of playtime on here. 80 hours and 18 minutes total now. And we got three more races to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>